Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to year six of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a text episode can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Today's selection concludes Surah 9, At-Tawbah, or Repentance, verses 119 through 129. These verses declare that the believers are those who prefer the life of the Messenger of God over their own. Quranic verses do increase the faith of the believers. And lastly, there is a prayer taught by Allah. Keep in mind that with this surah, we do not begin with Bismillah. So, without further ado, O believers, have fear of Allah and be with those who are truthful in word and deed. It is not proper for the people of Medina and the Bedouin Arabs of the neighborhood to forsake the Messenger of Allah or to jeopardize his life so as to safeguard their own, because they do not suffer any thirst or hunger or any ordeal for the sake of Allah, or to take any step which may provoke the unbelievers, or receive any injury from an enemy, but shall be written down as a good deed to their account. For Allah does not waste the reward of the righteous. Likewise, they do not spend anything in the cause of Allah, be it small or large, or cut across a valley in jihad, but is written down to their credit, so that Allah may reward them based on the best of their deeds. It is not proper that the believers should go forth altogether. Therefore, why not a squadron from each division stay behind so that they may obtain the understanding of the deen, al-Islam? and admonish the people when they return to them so that they may refrain from un-Islamic conduct. O believers, fight the unbelievers who hem you in, to let them know how strong you are. You should know that Allah is on the side of the God-fearing. Whenever a surah is revealed, some of them ask, Whose faith from among you has increased by this? Certainly the faith of the believers is increased, and they do rejoice. As for those whose hearts contain malice, it will add filth to their existing filth, and they will die whilst they are disbelievers. Do they not see that they are tested every year once or twice, yet they neither repent nor learn a lesson from this? Whenever a surah is revealed, they look at each other as if to ask, Is anyone watching? Then they silently slip away. Allah has slipped their hearts from the guidance for they are a people who do not want to understand. Now there has come to you a messenger from among yourselves, the one who grieves at your loss and who is excessively anxious for your success in both worlds, and who is compassionate and merciful towards the believers. Now if they turn away from you, O Prophet, say, Allah is all sufficient for me. There is no God but Him. In Him I have put my trust. He is the Lord of the mighty throne. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.